Hello everyone of the Spirit of Learning, welcome back to my video in YouTube, my name is Angga from Indonesia. Angga DC is a channel where the designer and developer are learning together to make the better product ever. So today what I have is the 5 library for the Android Studio, no matter you are using Kotlin or Java, it should be okay. Well, basically those libraries are free to use, which is you are able to use in the commercial project and you can use it in the existing project or in the next project. Okay, so let's step ahead one by one. So number one, I have alerted. So basically alerted is helping you to make the user to be aware than before. So basically we want to sending uh, messages or we want to send a notification to the user. So after that user could be aware to this to that message and then we can provide the button on the alerted so they can take our action so they the user can take an action immediately so you can watch my video here that video is helping you to use alerted in the android studio and number second we have confetti confetti is like yeah wow it's like yeah so awesome you know so luxury and pure yeah it's so adorable for me because it's helping and it's touching the user's hearts. If you are giving a confetti, the user feels like, wow, what is this? I, do I get a reward? Do I get a gift? Yeah, so it's like, yeah, we want to make user feel happy with this confetti. It's working perfectly. So you must try this confetti. So for you, if you were web designer, then you are migrating from web designer to become an Android developer, but you are familiar with the bootstrap so we have the library that helps you to use a bootstrap framework in the android studio so you might want to design the android application like the bootstrap like you know so from the button thumbnail and then grid layout and anything that related to the bootstrap so this library is helping you to improve like that okay let's continue number four Number four, we have button navigation. Button navigation is happy user to reaching out the menu that we provide. So basically, the, those menus are daily use. So we don't want to hide those menus in the set navigation or in the a drawer. So we want to provide in the button navigation. So that's why we are using this library to give them um, the menus of daily use for the user. So user can easily to touch that menu every time they are using our product so this library could help you to make it happen okay everyone so the last one is number five number five we call it spotlight so spotlight is helping you to make a tour guide in your product well not mostly user are tech savvy so that's why we have to guide them one by one what this menu for what this button for and where's the user stand for Alright, yeah, so this spotlight is helping the user to get a familiar with your product. So if you don't have the tour guide, then if, you are pro if your product is not really familiar for the user, the user will be confused when they are using your product. So that's why this library can help your user, your end user, your customer to use your product much easier than before. Wow, could you imagine that? Alright, if you know the spirit of learning, that's all 5 libraries that you can use right now. Don't forget to check one by one and please let me know which one the best for you and the reason why. Okay, hopefully that next time I could give you another video about this, the 5 library maybe that helps you to improve your product than before. Okay, so if you are enjoying this video, please like. Comment and share with your friends. Nice to meet you from Indonesia. See you in the next.